Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to do a super quick tutorial today where um, we have a dashboard and automatically what the dashboard shows is the maximum year or if you choose you could show the year the current year but when a user makes a selection for example he makes a year selection or a year month then in that case only the selected year or year month is shown for example over here now i have a dashboard called sales per time and since i have haven't really made any selection i've just opened the dashboard it shows 2021 which is the maximum year for this data set but the moment i make a selection let's say these three months then it only shows sales for these three months and if I take it away, now it shows the sales for the entire max year. You could change this to current year as well. How do you do that? I'll show you one way and um, let's get into it. Yeah. So I'm going to go into my measure and here I have the measure called sum of unit price times quantity. Now, what do we actually want? Well, what we want is that when we make a selection in the year or year month, then we want click to say okay the user has made a selection so let's calculate the sum of sales for the selection but otherwise we want it to say the user hasn't made any selection so we want to show the sum of sales for the maximum year or the current year what we need to do is we need to see if the user has made a selection in the fields that we want and the field is year and year month how do we know if the user has made a selection well the way to no is by using a function called get selected count what does the get selected count do well what it does is it says if the user has made a selection in year then the get selected count will be one right or if i've selected two values inside year then the get selected count for the field year will be two S likewise get selected count for month year if the user has made a selection then get selected count will be one so get selected count is like a, a function now let's go to our measure let's see how we could incorporate it so here what i say i do a simple if statement that is i say if get selected count for which field well in my case the field is year right and my field is also year month so i say get selected count for year plus get selected count for the field month year so if the user has made a selection in the year or in month year then what happens well this selected count will be greater than zero right so if the user has made any kind of selection in these two so i'm saying get selected count for month year get selected count for the year so if the user has made any selection this would be either one or two or whatever and here also it would be one or two so it would be greater than zero basically so if it is greater than zero then in that case sum up the unit price times quantity because click is going to take into consideration any of the selections that is made but else that is if the get selected count for year and get selected count for month year is not greater than zero that means the user has not made any selection then in that case sum of the maximum year and how do we write the statement for maximum year well it is unit price times quantity and then we need to do a simple set expression so let's write our set expression curly braces open and close angle brackets the field over here i say year is equal to open and close curly braces double quotes because it's a search function we need to do a dollar sign expansion so dollar is equal to max of year right if both of these are zero then in that case do the sum of sales but only for the maximum year so by default if the user hasn't selected anything 
then the get selected count is going to be equal to zero and you do the sum of sales for maximum year but otherwise you do only sum of sales because well if the user has made selections you're going to do the sum of sales for only that selections which uh, the user has selected right so i'm going to click on apply and let's see what's happening here now now we see that we only have 2021 there's no selections made let me make a selection if I make 2018, 2019, so now I see only for 2019, of course, but that's year, so it, it would work even otherwise, right? Uh, but if I make a selection in month year, let's say I want these three months, then I only see the sales for those three months. Good. So now as a user, I've made a selection. So I've selected one month, and now I only see the sales for that month. But otherwise, just if I open the particular dashboard, then I see the sales for the maximum year. So by default, it's showing me maximum year, but the moment I make a selection, it's only showing me whatever I've selected. So this can be really helpful, right? Like, because you might want to only show, as the user opens a dashboard, you want it to show only the current year or current month or whatever it is so you could do that using get selected count let's make this one let's make it slightly better i'm going to go into my appearance and over here i'm also going to say sales per time and this will be again an if statement if get selected count for the field year plus get selected count for the field month year is greater than zero then just sales per time but otherwise i want it to be sales per time and whatever the maximum year is because i want to know which year it's showing right so i say and max year let's click on apply now oops i think i forgot to put uh yep it's an if statement so i need to close it um, close the bracket all right so now some selection is made i take away the selection and it's showing me now the sales per time is for 2021 so you see that overall it's 2021 the moment I make a selection, it's showing me what the selection was for. You could actually add that as well. There, well, there is a function called get field selections. So here now I say sales per time and get field selections month year. And I click on apply and I apply. And now if I make a select, now if I don't make any selection, it's showing me the whole year, sales per time for the year. But if I make a selection in this month year, it's showing me for which months it's showing along with the title. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, this was a super quick tutorial. Now you can go in and change it for each of your KPIs. If you're interested, this looks like a super nice dashboard, right? This is part of my new course that's coming up. Um, Sign up for the newsletter below. It's going to be super in-depth and you're going to really, really like it. Um, so this was a super quick tutorial and um, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.